could be the Marlis, just with a little bit of extra bonus movement speed that you have at level 1. You should be honored. My prayers are answered. Dyer's top is under attack. What's that smart? Ooh. Using a full lane's worth, I'm sorry, a full wave's worth of effect on the Dyer Tower. All of his attention onto trying to stop 23 Savage. It feels like that's the main person they're respecting on the T1 lineup. So he's getting a lot of attention on top. What's that smart? Again? I wonder how much extra attention they might put onto this mid lane because if you're able to kill Miracle again, that'd be huge. Plus, you've just had the uh, the glyph you to try and uh, get that creep equilibrium I correct. Totally need. The bottle, you've got three heroes mid now. You can look to die very Spoil. Oh, The only way that could have gone any better for T1 is that it was just one extra hit from the tower onto the siege creep. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower. Haste! Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The greatest wish to reach your last eon. I thought previously when they attended that dive onto Perev, that was absolutely the correct play for Nigma because they just saw that the, uh, the Zephyr TP to the mid lane meant that he had no way of tipping into save. Uh, and he it a lot more attention on the mid lane, and you're even getting kills on the top side. Okay, right, like you've got Perev playing alongside him, he's got the javelin, whether he feels that into a maelstrom or not, who knows. It's gonna allow for a lot of burst damage, that's fine. Or on Carl, he he's been listening into some of the criticism coming for him. He's saying like, "Oh, you're the the number five man in C." He's like, no, no, no. I am uh, just as good as a lot of these other guys. Did you mean to? Oh. Picked up and miracle. I thought he might have got a little bit too aggressive. Does get the lucky shot off, so I think he should be able to run away. Although they're just going. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Behold! Monster kill! Ledge creatures. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Oh, 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 <laughs> Let the world end now. It matters not <laughs> to me. With the, impurities. the body blocks come from Kuro. Dyer's <laughs> top tower is under attack. Dyer's top done. tower is under attack. Bring me back to the impurities. Impurity. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Good. Dyer's top tower is under attack.
He's on the back lights. get on them and I mean it's it's scary when T1 now have so much map to play with because it means White Mon can be pushed up so aggressive in a position where he can always protect the puck. Looking for a five on five fight for Ev. Nice clip. Finds less track along with the Mars. They're a little bit away from the rest of the team, Kuroki. He's going to be able to drop the ultimate, but there's no extra fall from Nygma. Nice bound the strike. Holds back Weehar and the Shaman, and they drop the call as well. Miracle clipped by the spear. Stuck inside the Wukong's command as they bring down a third. They can even potentially dive the Leshrac if they want to, and Carl is going to offer to of do just that. To. Why not? Carl has been all up in their face, even with the help of Rev finding a fourth target here. And then the chat lines. This is what I came to see. Uh, the Pango in terms of net worth. White Mon here should go down here, but again, look at how much he's expending yeah. while taking out like mass serpent wards just for his own life. He might not even die. Oh my lord, how is White Mon not dead? He was in such a peculiar spot, and Carl is even trying to man fight them on the back line as well. RMN moving forward, level 12, so he's doing a lot of damage with that extra point in the Pulse Nova. They will finally kill White Mon's Abaddon, but guess who's farming? 23 Savage. He's just having a free time this game, yes? Radiant, wanting to utilize this ward around the triangle, man. Carl, level 15, just does so much damage, that extra spell M. Zephyr even stole the shackles, so he's using it from downtown. Double silence, Carl. I don't know if I've seen a performance so one-sided here from a position two. He's just... He's making me speechless right now. I'll tell you what, it is a... A good little, uh, you know, audition tape, perhaps, for, mm. for some of the... A slow beatdown, honestly. Is there even going to be able to find another one? Got it. Poor old GH. Had an incredible second game against Vici, but nine deaths here for him. Savage has got the ages advantage. Let's see what Nygma are able to do. You've got to be careful if Leshrac just gets killed at the start of the fight before Nygma can answer with their own rebuttal. Coil drop, Serp mods, nice mischief. Monkey's taking a lot of damage, but just look at the poke and prod that Radiant have. Able to bring down the Leshrac and Shaman without committing too heavily. And even Savage is protected with the Wukongs. Actually pushes him out with a blinding light, but yeah, gotta deal with those mass Serpent wards. Guru, oh, they found him in the tree line. Zephyr with the jump. He's protected for a little while with the Glimmer, but it will not matter. Die, they drop the detection, or will it? Could Kuroki. Savage actually going to think about jumping forward, but he's got to be careful. Shadow Fiend is not really going to be able to use that Yule's Requiem combo on the first life here of 23 Savage. Doing his best to try and push out the wave with that spirit form. We can uh, play Carl? a lot more. <laughs> Nice boundless man. Frev's got the follow-up as well. Had to blink in. Miracle protected with the glimmer, but they're still able to clap the back line as well as GH and Weehar falling. Buyback's coming out here from Nygma. They want to continue to hold this set of racks down, but range racks on take... two. Denied the the barracks there. Savage Carl. Nice initiation. Just melts through the Shadow Fiend. Miracle, no opportunity to be able to get the combination off. Kuroki gonna drop the arena. It does get stolen though. They're gonna be careful how this fight continues on because Zephyr can drop that down and he will do so. Three in closing in the Gladiators. Frev Spear pushed back, but the real issue is is that Nigma losing all their heroes as Kuroki moonwalking back to base. They just turn their attention to GH and back to Mars as it's a team wipe and that should send him out of this game one as well. Then 19,000 gold down. This game? Uh, one. I believe one that was dodged by Puck, so it literally did nothing. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Jeez, man. Carl is very deep, though. They're doing it. 
They're doing this it. is where you They're feed. Oh, can they at least get the shaman to stop the shackles? Nope. And they will. All right, T1. They want all the killers. If they're not going to call all it, as he's hiding in a little hiding hole, Forev joins him. And if they're not going to call it, they sure will force him to do so. Put them all in the grave. There's T1. And that's going to be it. Especially even though they took that last game against Vichy. So they were coming with some momentum after, a series, after a, at least a map victory. But it looks like today... Oh, Miracle? <laughs> Rev gets the shot off. It looks like at least today we're going to see both the teams that were undefeated yesterday find their first victory. As T1 will be able to close this one out. Yeah. We'll take him a bit as... Nigma want to make him work for it inside the base. Iron Man gets brought down from the Dagon forever as well. <laughs> Kuroki just moonwalking away. Miracle might well, finally go, now Requiem. with the BKB. Is it going to be all oh, the mischief dodge? But they bump up against the arena. So two end up falling, but the boundless savage. They're doing to him. This monkey king. <laughs> oh. Immediately removed. <laughs> Just been voice line after voice line. Can we get a Dagon 5 in time? You can see Carl. He wants that 4. He's walking forward. It might cost him. Carl? Oh. Does it get the... Oh, Carl? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Phase shift. He doesn't have Yules. Zephyr. Nice sphere. Meanwhile, Savage is like... Oh, guys, come on. Let's just end this game. Like, someone hit the objectives, man. It's just me. Even making them pop glyph, they're making it work for it. I mean, Nick, we're back live, and Savage is going really deep. He'll try a TPR. They don't have the damage, man. How is he alive? Has he got boots of travel? No. Ah. GG. Yep. GG. Game indeed. one.